So that's all I have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look over here to take a look at, at any questions that we might have. Um, and uh, again, it, you know, if you do have any questions, uh, that little chat window in the bottom right hand corner, uh, send those over there. But it looks like we already have a couple. Um, are there any types that are harder to get into uh, than others? Um, I, you know, harder versus easier. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, you know, one's easier or harder versus the other. If, if you go and check out, uh, if you're eligible for those burner tools, take a look. Um, it, there's a level of difficulty to each, uh, depending on how locked on the phone is. So uh, there have been times where flip phones are very simple to get into. We've even got one uh, or, or a few, a number in there that can bypass passcodes and those sorts of things. Uh, it's um, and and it's it's very simple. We make it step by step. Uh, there are other ones which are Androids, which are very very difficult to get into. Some that are very easy, so on and so forth. Um, so I, I don't know if one's necessarily easier than the other, uh, but um, uh, you know there are uh, there are definitely some um, uh, some phones that are easier to break into than others, just not necessarily by type uh, or anything like that. Um, what are your thoughts on the burner app? Uh, well, I actually uh, uh, I, I did that research about a year, year and a half ago. Um, it's uh, it's an interesting app. I, I'd say I would probably use it for Craigslist and selling furniture and that sort of thing. Um, but as mentioned, you know, we were able to find deleted data uh, very clearly on the device. So, um, you know, for uh, uh, for an app like that. Um, it, it's just a little bit of research and, and development on the forensic community side to figure out, okay, you, you know, how do we get uh, data from that, and, and uh, you, you know, what, uh, uh, where do we go? What can we do? So, um, uh, does the serial number displayed when using ADB devices ever change? Um, heard somewhere that it might if you factory reset. I, I don't believe so. Um, thanks, Justin, for the question. Uh, I. I I don't believe so, but I've never tested that. Uh, so I'd have to ask some of our, our devs. Um, you know, knowing, I, I believe I've, I've uh, probably bricked and, and revitalized my phone a few times, and I, I think it's the same serial number, uh, but, um, but I've never tested that. So uh, it, it, uh, it, it takes definitely a test device to, to be able to check that out, and I don't think we ever have. Um, is the burner phone support coming to the commercial version of the Extract soon? Uh, and roughly how many phones will be supported? Thanks, John, for the question. Um, the commercial version, no, uh, for the simple fact that, again, these are restricted to US law enforcement, uh, military, and government. Um, currently, we support, I believe it's about 20 devices uh, out in the, um, uh, in the tools that we have online. Uh, and so those are, um, those are available again, you know, as we speak, but uh, in the commercial version of eXtract, we won't have those tools. Now, again, that said, uh, a number of, of burner phones, we've heard uh, a great success stories on burner devices through eXtract itself. Uh, so I highly recommend, you know, uh, if you have any questions about support, check out eXtract. If it's an Android device, it, it's, uh, there's a, a fairly good probability that it is supported uh, today. Um, how common are Android burner phones? Are you guys seeing a lot of these? Uh, uh, thanks again, Justin, for the, the question. Uh, we don't do as many individual cases anymore. Um, uh, you know, we, we mostly do the product support. That said, um, you know, we've had a, a number of, of folks come back to us and talk to us about burner devices. So it, it, it is um, from, you know, the conversations that we've had, it is uh, fairly commonplace. Um, you, you see more and more these days, and especially when you talk about uh, illegal activities, I think folks are going to take any advantage that they can, burner devices being one of them. So uh, it's still a, a smaller uh, portion of the overall uh, market. But uh, as you look at, at any trending graph, um, and I, I did some research for this, this talk, I didn't put the graphs in here, but uh, prepaid phones uh, you know, are, are increasing in market share as they go. Uh, so even if it's not, um, you know, used uh, necessarily um, intentionally for, for criminal purposes, but maybe in, in cases uh, folks are using them more and more. And so we'll probably see an increase just from that uh, as well. Um, are there ways to extract information from a device without ADB enabled that is encrypted uh, from Andrew? Well, uh, if you don't have ADB, again, um, you're going to need to get into some sort of, of different uh, uh, access mode. So. Uh, if you can get into a recovery mode uh, and uh, you would need to get some sort of communication to that device, normally that would be 
uh, an ADB through that recovery mode or maybe through a, a debug mode, um, uh, you know, fast boot or, or whatever it may be. Uh, if you're able to, uh, well, then it would be encrypted so you wouldn't be able to flash. But if you're able to get some level of communication, then yes. Uh, we've actually got a tool out online. Uh, it's in Santoku Linux, which is brute force Android encryption. Uh, it works on uh, a number of devices as long as it's not an alphanumeric pin. Uh, if it is there, then uh, you know, you'd know you have to uh, uh, typically break that encryption before you can. But here's a note about Android encryption. Um, at least up until uh, uh, this generation, uh, I can't comment on, on upcoming, is that once the device is on, uh, and once the, the passcode has been put in, in for the first time, uh, that device is unencrypted. Uh, when you first put in that passcode, it, it unencrypts the device entirely. So if you've, you, you come across a phone that is already on, uh, that is already, uh, the passcode's been at least put in once, it might still be locked again. But uh, if the passcode's been put in, then uh, if it's been entered, then that device is unencrypted. So leave it on, do everything that you can, uh, you know, put it in a Faraday cage or whatever it may be to remove it from networks, but leave it on. And then you, you do have it in that mode where it is unencrypted there. Um, some burners, especially prepaid and track phones, seem to have no USB connectivity. Is it your experience that these phones actually have USB port deactivated or electrically disconnected? Uh, we've seen that um, a, a couple times, Robert. Thank you for the question. Yeah. Um, or, uh, you know, not just disconnected, but, um, you know, some sort of, of uh, block in a way that's, that's blocking it from recognizing it as a USB um, uh, again, that comes back to figuring out where they disable the communication um, and uh, 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 trying to alleviate that. Uh, most of our solutions uh, work around the AT commands, work around um, you know, enabling USB debugging. Uh, if you have strictly no USB connection, that becomes much more difficult. Um, it's not impossible, but it, it definitely is a, a, a larger challenge. Uh, isn't the Android encryption changing with Android L? Uh, that's correct. That's why I had mentioned that I can't comment. I can only comment up to the Android uh, version that's out here. Uh, but Android L, uh, you know, is as rumored, as noted by Android, is um, uh, going to be a, a different type of encryption. Um, it's probably going to be some sort of uh, file level encryption like what we see with iOS, uh, which will make it uh, quite a bit more uh, difficult as well. Um, so I'm going to switch off the QA because it looks like we're, uh, that's about all the questions. If anybody has any others, um, you know, again, just uh, tweet at us or, or put it in the, uh, the questions window there. But uh, my information, if you have any additional questions that, that we didn't get to here, please feel free to uh, send me a note online or, or tweet at me um, and uh, I'd be happy to answer. Uh, again, we do these every two weeks. So, uh, you know, please come back and, and we're, we're happy to have you. Check out VExtract, the community edition, um, and if you like what you see, uh, you know, send us a note, and we'd be happy to send you out a quote. Um, and uh, uh, thanks very much.